Verification of classification results. When a verification operator needs to confirm classification results, this is a process to confirm that the correct document definition was applied. Low confidence classification results are highlighted in red. Class confirmation can be done automatically using a feature called automatically confirm section type when matched. That option is in the section properties. This means that if document definitions are applied and fields are extracted, the classification result is correct. So enable this option for reliable document definitions that were created with fields and flexi layouts. And this will reduce verification of classification results. If a document definition doesn't have any fields or fields need to be trained during verification, classification is the way to apply the correct document definition. Verification of classification results is required here. You can create an additional stage for verification of classification results. Confirmation of class assignment can also be done manually using the command confirm document definition from the right click menu on the verification station. To change the class, the verification operator needs to match another document definition using the match document definition command. If a document appears that needs to belong to a brand new class, a new document definition must be created by an administrator. After this, the verifier will be able to apply this new definition for new documents. And if auto learning is enabled, FlexiCapture will collect these images to retrain the classifier. When a verifier needs to confirm a variant of a class, she or he can do this manually by selecting the Confirm Document Definition selection from the right-click menu on the verification station. To change a variant or create a new one, the verification operator needs access to the data set of variants, and this can be done via a button. So to create a button in your docdef, create a service field that is linked to the Flexible Section Variant ID option, then create a database check rule that is linked to the data set of variants source and save the ID to this service field. Then create a button on the data form and link it to the database check rule that you just created. Then the verification operator can click the button and open up a dialog during verification that allows changing of a class or even adding a record to the data set of variants. In other words, creating a new class.